Hey guys, so we're back from Ibiza, we're going to Malaga soon, everything's a bit crazy at the moment. The best thing about being back is, of course, the little pussy cats that I miss so much every time we go away. Right now, Ali is filming an event in London, so it's just me and the cats hanging out, and the little babies is doing a little sleep here. Look at that little tired face, look at that tired face. He is such a little cutie pie. So I don't know if you can see Darcy, but... He's in this corner, like behind the aircon. Look how tired he looks. I'm just sewing some stuff on my PC, some cool stuff that we've got coming up. We've got a move coming up soon. So I'm starting out the tenancy agreements for our new flat, which I can't wait to show you guys. The best part about the flat is it has outdoor space, which means we have a garden, which means we can have a dog. Bye. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind quite a lot, which is the puppy. So we both posted some pictures of a puppy that we were planning on getting. I put them on Instagram, kind of holding them. We went to go visit them, we put a deposit down on a little girl and we started to fall in love with the puppy. We really did like completely start to fall in love with this puppy but I'd kind of I'd really struggled with the idea of this puppy from the beginning because I'm really passionate about kind of having a dog that is healthy and is happy and that I've bought responsibly and in choosing to get Cavalier King Charles they're a breed that has health issues and I really I really feel quite strongly on this issue and when I see dogs that have been bred poorly or just certain breeds where the dogs look uncomfortable and unhappy I really feel for them and I said I was never going to I was never going to be an owner of a dog and I was never going to support a breeder who didn't health test especially when we were getting a King Charles Cavalier and we kind of let our love for the puppy in a big way just say you know what everything's going to be fine it's going to be fine but the, the fact of the matter is I don't feel good supporting a breeder that doesn't health test their dog especially in a dog like the King Charles Cavalier so it was with really like I feel I felt so sad making this decision like I lie in bed with Ali and we were just hugging and I was crying saying I can't believe that I'm gonna miss out on this dog like it's my baby I don't want to give this dog up but it, it isn't fair for me to support a breeder that doesn't health test when there's breeders out there that care so much and put so much effort into health testing so the puppy that we were gonna get we're no longer gonna get like I talked to the breeder and I've, I've just said we're not going to go ahead and get this puppy anymore. We don't expect the deposit back. We're really sorry. You've got the, the puppy still young, so there's enough notice for it to find another owner. But that owner isn't going to be us. I want to support a good breeder. So this afternoon we are actually like Ali's out filming some cool stuff at the moment. When he gets back, we're going to get in a car and drive two hours to go see some other puppies. And the good thing about these other puppies is I've really, really researched the, the dad and the mum. I've seen the health records. I've seen the heart scans, the brain scans. Puppies in the same line have, that have grown into adult dogs are 13 years old, 12 years old. They don't have heart issues. They don't have any issues at all. They're old, healthy dogs that have lived. And they're in the same line. So the, the puppy's got those same good genes and there's all the health tests to prove it. The dog with the puppy, we've seen pictures of it and I'm gonna show you guys and we love, we love this puppy already. But we have to be smart and make sure we're getting a puppy that's gonna be healthy. And this doesn't guarantee anything. Like this puppy could still get ill, but we are minimizing our chances of doing that. And we're supporting a breeder that, that cares enough to pay for these health tests and cares enough to go back year on year and make sure that the dogs are still healthy and going to like a cardiologist and everything. And some of you guys may be like, I can't believe you would do that. I can't believe you would just abandon this puppy that you had. Or some of you guys may think that I'm being like overly finicky and, and caring about this stuff too much. But I want to do what I think is the right thing in this situation. And I know that what we're doing is the right thing. And I just don't want a dog that is going to be in pain. And I've allowed that pain by supporting a breeder that doesn't test their dogs. But I think we're doing the right thing. Like we've picked the right breed, we've picked the right breeder and we're gonna go see a new puppy this afternoon. Guys, we're in Leicester. We've driven all the way up to Leicester. It's taken us over two hours. Yeah, we almost got in the worst traffic jam ever, but we missed it, so we're good. Thank you, Google Maps. So we are five minutes away from seeing the puppy. I'm so excited again. I've got that like giddy feeling that I got last time. She's so cute, I like. <laughs> you can see her in like literally four minutes. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, who's a little cutie? Baby. Who's a little cutie? Who's a little baby? Who's a little baby? <laughs> hey, beautiful. Oh. Come here, Baba. 
Come here, baby. Hey. Hey, little princess. <laughs> hey, little princess. How are you? How are you? Little bun. She's baby. She's perfect. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. And she looks just at you. She's a little baby. Oh, baby. Look at you. You've got one, one sock on and one sock off. <laughs> what have you done with this sock? You're a beautiful one, aren't you? <laughs> I love you. Baby. I like, I want to cry. Is this, is love this instead of babies? <laughs> <gasps> you biting me? Are you being a cheeky bum? You can't do that. Hello, little girl. Hello, little girl. Hello. <gasps> Look at you, little jumpy one. Look at that little tail wagon. Oh, okay. Do a little wee then. <laughs> Who's a big cutie? Who's a big cutie? You are. You are little Evie Lily Billy. Oh. <laughs> oh, such a little bum bum. <laughs> Lily. You'll be getting lots of those, I'm afraid. She's like, I hate them. <laughs> no, she oh, loves it. She loves Oliver it. Oliver likes them, Darcy hates them as well. But you'll get them all the same. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you climbing up my leg, missus? She's so cute. She's so happy. You're a happy little one, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, literally, I'm in heaven. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Dog's fighting over my shoe. Hey, little one. Hey, little one. Hey, little one. <gasps> Oh, it's a little feisty one. It's just a feisty one. It's just a feisty one. Somebody's fallen asleep on the daddy. Yes. <laughs> you literally see her falling asleep. She's spun. <laughs> she is passed out. She's had too much fun, isn't she? <laughs> How many dogs can you fit on one person? <laughs> <laughs> Three generations. Me right now. Bye bye, See you in a few weeks' time. See you in a few weeks' time. <laughs> Hello, mama dog. So that was little baby Evie Lily and her little pack, her little squad. It was really hard leaving, actually. I feel really sad driving away. But just a few weeks, she's going to be coming and joining the family and seeing little Oliver and little Darcy. I took her out of the little crate that she was in. She was like with all her little puppies. I was like, I'm gonna hold you before we say goodbye. I started bobbing her up and down and she, she fell asleep in my hands. I'm like, it's meant to be. So in a few weeks time, she will be coming to our new place. And we're gonna get her all set up downstairs. And she's just gonna be the cutest little thing ever. Like she was gorgeous. She's got a little puppy smell. She's just so cute, so cute. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting her as we did for the first time. That was awesome and I cannot wait to go collect her. Hope you guys like her. If you do, please let me know in the comments below and let us know what you think of our new little baby. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.